Final Four under free relay. Yes. Uh, which I'll tell you what, there's not much more exciting than your entire season's hopes falling down on one race. It'll be interesting to see. Right now, though, we got the A final for the 100 breaststroke, Tim. And here we go. In lane two from Collins Hill, we have Taylor Aguirre. In lane three from Druid Hills, we have Jackson Ford. In lane four, we have from Brookwood, we have Alex Taylor. And our top seed from Duluth, Joseph Portillo. In lane six from Chattahoochee, Jay Litherland. Jay Litherland just got done swimming the 100 back. Lane seven from Alpharetta, Derek Wu. In lane eight from Lambert, Jarrett Chuvalta, Chovader. And in lane nine from Centennial, Hunter Doster. It'll be interesting to see what can uh, what can happen here. Jay Litherland swimming the double, just got done with the 100 backstroke maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, he's in lane six, trying to go and win the 100 breaststroke. You see, you see the suits that they're wearing. The Litherlands are a bunch of happy and goofy kids. They enjoy this uh, way too much, if you ask me. And Arena has come out with a new <laughs> suit. <laughs> that is even more tacky than that. Exactly, and with their bright colors and their new carbon fiber suits, Arena is making a name for itself for the some of the crazy type swimmer kids out here. Yeah, they're they're are we starting to realize that these kids want a way to express themselves. <laughs> I think that's one of those ways. Off they go in the hundred breaststroke. This is extremely difficult of a race. You think that it looks very smooth and simple. It's painful. It's violent. Your body is thrown all over the place. And you are using every muscle in your body from start to finish. Breaststroke is technically considered a resting stroke. <laughs> there is no resting <laughs> is in this race no at all. Rest for the weary. But Jay Litherland out. Lith wow. Out a second faster than he was yesterday at the 50. <laughs> if he can a, hang on, he might be able to break the state record here. He has a body length lead over his over Alex Taylor from Brookwood in lane four. Followed by jo Joseph Portillo, but again, Jay Litherland holding out to that body length lead. Yeah, Litherland's body kind of seizing up a little bit. His stroke is getting a little shorter. That 100 back, he's finally paying the price. He's not going to get Well, he did get he it. Did get he it. did get it. He did get it. He got the state record. By four one hundredths <laughs> of a second. That might be one of the greatest comeback swims we've ever seen here to turn around after the 100 backstroke. Go and to the swim that again and go swim. No, a completely different stroke. Totally different race. And Get he up breaks the, the state record. I can't say enough about how great of a swim that was. By the way, first, second, and third All Americans. But again, Jay Litherland going two first places, two events, two All Americans in the world. Not a bad night. Not not a not a bad night at all. I think the Litherlands are going to have a huge party tomorrow night or tonight uh, to celebrate. Um, they're really just hoping that they can tack on a uh, maybe a, a state championship on the back end. That was a very impressive swim by Jay Litherland. I thought I thought for sure his his body would give out on him. I mean, my body almost gives out watching them swim. So I would assume that it does the same. Okay, now all the races are done for the men's events. 